check out this. So this is a feral pig. <coughs> Australia is facing a huge problem with introduced species. So back in the 17th, 18th, and even the early 19th century, lots of different species were released in Australia. So Captain Cook actually, just up Cook down up the road here, released pigs. And since then, they've also been released in other areas around Australia. They've bred up in crazy numbers. Scientists reckon there's over 22 million pigs Australia-wide. Now, big problem, uh, they put a lot of pressure on our native flora and fauna, so they compete for food and shelter. Another big problem is they spread disease, okay? So like tuberculosis and plenty of other diseases too, they're really, really dangerous. Um, <clears throat> and also farmers, so out here at the moment, we're on some old cropping country. Um, before this was harvested, pigs come through and absolutely decimated the crops. And Australia-wide, feral pigs cost farmers millions of dollars every single year. Um, and they're really dangerous. So this is just a young, mature boar. He's just starting to grow his tusks at the moment there. Gave me a little nip on the, on the finger. Um, but they get much bigger than that. So, you know, I'm talking over three inches out of the jaw. And at that size, they can, like, you know, give you a really good laceration through the leg. And there's actually been one recorded fatality in Australia um, of a person being killed by a pig. Okay, so that's how dangerous they are. Uh, anyway, so I just used my kelpie as you just seen there in the footage. Uh, she just runs out, she's got a tracking collar on there, um, and I'll just follow her on the GPS. She'll sniff the pig out, find it, bail it up until I can get in and wrestle it, tie it up, and then um, we'll humanely uh, euthanize the pig. The problem is we can't just desex them and let them go and hopefully they just sort themselves out. It doesn't work like that. Um, you know, with pigs being in such large numbers, just like foxes and cats, donkeys, camels, all the other feral species we have in Australia, really need to cull them uh, quickly and humanely. Anyway, so that's the end of the line for this fella. Uh, and, and they don't go to waste, you know, we use them to, to make compost here at the farm. Um, so yeah, we're not just leaving them to rot out in the bush or anything like that. Alrighty.